Has anyone else been getting these YouTube ads for uh, Slavic women? Like dating Slavic win women? Like no offense to my, my uh, Eastern European gals, but uh, it's just, just weird. Maybe it's just me, man. I'm in a committed relationship, but here, we're, look we're uh, uh, looking at Dave Black, live at the Brits, 2020. Let's get right into it. It's weird. Slavic women, like I've never Googled anything with Slavic women, just for the record. It's just it, weird. Anyway. I think that's Eastern European. I'll shut I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I also didn't know this man could play piano. Hmm. Look. Black is beautiful, black is excellent. Black is pain, black is joy, black is evident. Working twice as hard as the people, you know you're better than, cause you need to do double what they do so you can level them. Black is so much deeper than just African American. Our heritage been severed, you never got to experiment with family trees. Cause they teach you about famine and greed. Show you pictures of our family on their knees. Tell us we used to be barbaric, we had actual queens. Black is watching child soldiers getting killed by the children, feeling sick so quick, this could have happened to me. Mommy watching, telling stories, your dad and your niece listen the black of the wow. berry the sweet of the juice kid dies the black of the killer the sweet of the news and hey man i did not know i thought dave mostly just did rapping i, d I didn't know he could actually p play piano um i've actually heard black i reacted to it but uh so people told me to check this out because he's got something near the end so let's keep going with it if he's white you give him a chance he's ill and confused if he's black he's probably armed you see him as shoot Black is growing up around a barbershop. Mommy says stay away from trouble, you're in yard a lot. Studying for ages, appreciating the chance you got. Cause black is in your blood and you ain't even got the heart to stop. Black is stepping in for your brothers because your father's gone. Standing by your children when you haven't proven karma wrong. Black is doing all of the above, then going corner shop. Trying to help a lady cross the road to have her walking off. Black is growing up around the family and making it. Being forced to leave the place you love because there's hate in it. People say you're faking it. Never stay for changing it, but black is being jealous. You know, this this thing they're doing with the screen is is pretty awesome too. Um anyway, we'll keep going. That if you stayed in it, black is struggling to find your history and tracing it. You don't know the truth about your race cuz they're racing it. Black has got a really sour flavor. Here's a taste of it, but black is all I know. There ain't a thing that I would change in it. Hmm. Look. Black isn't a single color, man, there's shades to it. Her hair's straight and thick, but mine's got waves in it. Black is not divisive, they've been lying and I'm hating it. Black has never been a competition, we're all making it. Black is deadly. Black is when you're freezing in your home and you can't get sleep, but never feeling empty, cause you got 20 mm. cousins in your country living stress-free, walking for their water daughter wrapped inside a bed sheet. Black is distant, it's representing countries that never even existed while your grandmother was living. Black is my Ghanaian brother, reading into scriptures, doing research on his lineage, finding out that he's Egyptian. Black is people naming your... Um, I, I'm gonna say that the, the piano and the visuals, um add a new depth to it um you know n not not to speak bad of the the previous track but this adds adds a lot more depth to um the words than the um the original beat that he did it on in my opinion but let's let's keep going with it your countries and what they trade most coast of ivory gold coast and the grain coast but most importantly to show how deep all of this pain goes west mm. africa benin they call the slave, slave coast. coast black is so confusing could the culture there in love with it take our features when they want and have their fun with it never seem to help with all the things you know will come with it loud in our laughter silent in our suffering black is being strong inside the face of the feet poverty made me a beast i battled the law in the streets we well, all struggle but your struggle ain't a struggle like me well how could it be when your people gave us the odds that we beat i mean blood mm. hell what about our brothers that are stuck in jail that couldn't bust the bell they held a bird and got a living black is being guilty until proven that you're innocent black is saying free all of my people stuck inside of prison cells think it's funny we ain't got nothing to say to them unconditional love is strange to them it's amazing them. black has really got the sweetest flavor here's a taste of it but black is all i know there ain't a thing that i would change in it it uh -oh. is racist whether or not it feels racist the truth is our prime ministers are real racist they say you should be grateful we're the least racist i say Whoa. the least racist is still racist <laughs> Yo, man, he's all right, man. All right, respect for that. Let's let's keep going with it here. 
racist, it's still racist. And if somebody hasn't said it, equality is a right, it doesn't deserve credit. Now, if you don't want to get it, then you're never going to get it. How the news treats Kate versus how they treated Megan. Rest in peace, Jack Merritt. You're my brother in arms. There's tears in our eyes and love in our hearts. We hey, never man. had the same background, culture, color or past. But you devoted your life to giving others a chance. And for you guys let me know who that is. I, I don't know. I'm an ignorant American swine, I know. But please, please inform me as to who that is. And... um. Wow, man. I mean, the fact that he's just doing, he breaks off from his traditional thing and he's hes speaking on current events. The prime, he's saying our prime minister is racist. And to say that someone's the least racist is still racist, which it is. I mean, if you know, oh, they're the least bad. It's like, well, let's still address bad, right? Seems, seems sensible to me. Let's keep going. Brown, culture, color or past, but you devoted your life to giving others a chance. And for that... I'm so taken aback because he gave us all a voice. I have to say it for Jack. As a young black man, the scene paper and crack. Given tougher sentences, it's just paper and cracks. All he would want is unity. Funded for communities, equal opportunities, people under scrutiny. No more immunity, way less hatred, more conservation, less deforestation. We want rehabilitation. Now that would be amazing. But Grenfell victims still need accommodation. Hey. Still support for the Windrush generation, reparations for the time our people. People spent on plantations I'm done. hey man hey look respect to Dave for doing that in front of a crowd and in, in a time where um, you know I, I respect to him for doing that period um and and the thing I wish I wish that this stuff was taken a heart I, I wish more people would be more vocal more involved in um hey stop I don't care about TJ Maxx I care about Dave hush up um anyway yeah I um you know we need people to be more vocal and, and also I mean vote vote for people you know, be involved, um, be aware of what's going on, um, because at the end of the day, it all starts from the bottom. Um, now, I don't know what things are like in the UK as far as how you guys uh, elect officials. I know you guys have a parliamentary system, and then you have this monarch, which is essentially, from what I understand, just kind of like a, a figurehead. Like, they don't... I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is they don't really do anything. Uh, it's more of kind of like a celebrity status nowadays. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm saying the wrong things, but that's my understanding, my perception of it. Um, and um, But yeah, over here, I mean, we've got these very, very large, uh, very deep pockets that essentially run our system. And even, even if the people vote, there are ways where the American people get usurped. Um, so the American people are much, I want people to understand we're much different than our politicians. We're much different than our presidents. We're much, I mean, we're much, I would, I would vote for my plumber over Donald Trump or Joe Biden. I'm serious. If my plumber was up for it, like just a regular ass person, um, a sensible, logical person, but nobody, no, like our best people don't want that job because of the amount of scrutiny and stress it is. Um, I think some more people are kind of leaning towards it now, but, um, look, man, mad respect to Dave for, um, for even, um, getting on stage, composing this and delivering it, um, calling the prime minister, um, y you know, his, his opinion, expressing his opinion, regardless of what the consequences are. Um, and, um, I mean, you could say nowadays, you know, I mean, that's one thing I will say about Western societies or, or I don't, I'm not going to say that the u.s um maybe the uk a little bit you can legitimately say f the prime minister f the president f the government and you're probably not going to get killed like you you really do have much more of a right like if you if you tried that in certain other countries like you would you would be a forced disappearance as they call it um so I, one thing I will say that's awesome about it is you can express whatever you want. I could I could say whatever I want as far as being critical of, of a president or, or the U.S. government or the British government or their prime minister or the queen or whatever. I don't have to worry about the Gestapo coming to my door and popping me and taking my family. 
um, you know, and I, I'm blessed for that. And uh, yeah, man, I, I appreciate that Dave got up on stage and was willing to speak his truth. Um, I don't know much about Boris Johnson. I don't know much about uh, UK politics, but, um, you know, good for him for getting up and speaking his truth, regardless of whether or not you disagree with it. The fact that the man stood on stage in front of a bunch of people, um, in the national spotlight spoke his truth. Um, that that's, that's commendable, but Hey, look, um, if you guys like the reaction, feel free to subscribe, like comment, and please recommend, um, what to get to, and I will get to it. You guys take care.